good morning and it's a super rainy morning here in Munich. So today is our last day in Munich and we actually did a super rainy run this morning to the English gardens and the rain is not stopping. It's like still going on. But we need to walk around Munich today because it's our last day. So our first stop for the day is the famous Victorian Market which is just further down from Marienplatz. So we are having brunch now. Haven't eaten breakfast and we got ourselves a cheese breakfast. Mm. I love cheese, but maybe Chibay will say this is like NTUC sausage again. Mm. <laughs> Let me try? Mm. So we're having a lot of sausages and breakfast in Germany here. Like pretty good. So we just hope that the rain will stop so we can walk around and find some other food as well. So Victorian Market is a uh, is famous market or popular market that's over here in Central Munich and there are more than 140 stalls here so there's a lot of stalls selling their German food like sausages, pork knuckles, um, currywurst, bakeries, coffee you can get a lot of food here and also right uh, there's a lot of stalls selling souvenirs as well so Victorian Market is a must-see when you come to Munich because it's so so convenient it's just in the middle of Marenplatz so Everybody will have to come here and try out the German food at affordable prices here as well. So we're walking around the market in the rain now. So in Germany, right, we found, I realized that a lot of stores and shops don't like people to take photos and especially videos. So I, I wonder why it's usually because since we went US and Australia, right, and even in Singapore, so far Germany is the one of the countries where many stores don't like people to take videos. Don't know. They're not into YouTubers, I guess. <laughs> So while uh, walking around this Victoria Market, we see that there are many many fresh food stalls, veggies and there's shops selling cheeses and yeah basically okay most of the food that they are selling is about similar so many different stalls selling like currywurst, sausages, bratwurst and also they have stalls selling dips uh, yeah dips and um, olives and stuff so we saw a store that has pork knuckles and we are going to try the pork knuckle later because we haven't had pork knuckle yet in um, the whole trip for this Germany trip and so today is our last chance to try it This is the pork knuckle we found and it's... I think I saw a hair Is this a hair? <laughs> the pork hair Oh okay The, the pork oh, hair know. The pork hair Okay this pork knuckle is huge and it's only 650 euros so the skin looks really crispy But I don't know how we're going to finish it Oh my god Okay, I refuse to use my hand so <laughs> Wow, you can hear the pork skin crackling Wow This can feed like I think 3 to 4 person man <laughs> Check out the meat Juicy pork meat Okay, it's quite challenging to cut it. <laughs> so, wow. Okay, I guess people use their hands to eat a pork knuckle, but okay, I refuse to use my hands. <laughs> Let me just take a quick bite. Mm. Hot. It's basically like eating sour roll. So this part is very crispy. It's really really like a sauro. Very good. Mm. Fresh from Victorian market. Mm. Okay. So Shibeng has been dying to try pork knuckle. So he's finally getting his wish today. When you just check out the meat, it's super crispy. ASMR, can you hear the... <laughs> this is how crispy it is But the meat is so much and so tender Yeah 20 minutes later We've almost cleaned the entire bone So the meat was very tender and it came off very cleanly You can see the bone is so clean But really quite a huge pork knuckle for just 650 euro so Chibeng going strong
our next stop of the day is the Olympia Park Stadium over in Munich. So to get to this station, right, it's pretty easy. Just take the train from uh, Marienplatz all the way until Olympia Zentrum, which is the state the sta the station just outside the stadium, and you'll just walk right through in. So um, this Olympic Park, right, it was the Olympic Park during the 1972 uh, Olympics over here in Munich, and it's now like a public area that. There's many activities going on, especially in the summer. So apparently during the summer, there are like uh, amusement carnivals going on as well. So I think there is something like a zip line that you can ride across the Olympic Park. But uh, okay, <laughs> it's like winter and it's, uh, it's not winter, it's like autumn and it's like super cold and rainy day. So not sure if anybody will be doing that zip line today. <laughs> so this is one of the must-see sites that you want to come check out if you're at the Munich. So besides this Olympia, Olympia, Olympic Park Stadium, right? Um, it's also very near the BMW Museum, which is just like beside it. So you can actually do two places at a go. And there's also a Sea Life Aquarium around this area as well. So that's a third <laughs> attraction if you're at this area. So here we are at the Olympia Park in Munich. It's a massive building. Did you notice that today is a very cold and gloomy day so it was raining the whole morning and finally the rain stopped. So now we are like freezing in the cold here. <laughs> really cold outside. So we're now in the Olympia Park swim hall and it's so nice and warm in here and there's lots of people swimming. So the whole place is heated. Very cool man. We are now here inside the Olympic Stadium portion of the Olympic Park and this place is absolutely massive. So entrance fee into this portion here is 350 euro per adult but since you're already here might as well come in and do a tour as well. Because like once in a lifetime, we're not going to be coming back anytime soon. So just come in and take a walk. So Chi Beng had this great idea of walking one round around the stadium. And check it out. More slopes again. <laughs> this portion of the stadium is like going uphill. <laughs> After one day of slopes yesterday, today here we're walking slopes again. Oh my god. Our next touristy stop of the day and probably our last tourist stop for the day is the BMW Welk and BMW Museum. So we are just walking in to just take a look. There's lots of BMW cars on display. Not that we are going to be buying any BMWs. But still an interesting part to just take a look because it's like, yeah, you know, it's, you don't have such a thing in Singapore. So when you come here, you definitely have to check out if you like BMW cars. Okay, so for me, I'm more interested in the bags rent the bags rather than cars but just take a look it's a pretty cute car <laughs> quite a lot of people in here as well so many many tourists are all here checking out the BMW cars There's a level on the second floor where you can test out the motorbikes. They look like pro, huh? <laughs> Are these bikes too big? <laughs> yeah, it's like... I'm too short. <laughs> okay, I don't like this bike. It's not good. about done with the BMW Museum and it's pouring again. Today is really a Changming Yu day. <laughs> Gloomy weather today. Anyway, this about sums up our sightseeing in Munich. So we're just gonna head back to the Marienplatz area to walk around and just do some shopping. So hope you guys enjoyed. These are the key sites that you should visit when you're in Munich. So BMW Museum was also quite interesting. You get to actually sit in some of the cars and Chibeng was having a blast sitting on the bikes. <laughs> oh my god, the rain is like so annoying. 
Anyway, when you guys come to Munich, don't forget to check out my videos and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Now we need to try to go back to the station and get out of the rain. Oh, luckily the train is just nearby. Bye!